My boy. What's the deal, bro? Man, how you doing, man? Live from LA, man. Milk is back on Say Cheese TV, man. How you doing? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. I'm uh, groovy like a photo dollar movie. You know, I can't yeah. complain. Yeah. Yeah, man. I uh yeah, I've been going through it, man. Uh my guy, uh Big D, uh Mogul Media, he passed away, man. Um He does interviews. Did y'all have something? Uh yeah. Yeah, 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 I seen that. I seen that, and that was crazy. I was like, "Whoa!" Because I, you know, I had some uh, lined up, but what was kind of crazier? It was like some other dude that I had was just talking to, who who was doing interviews and shit, died too. It was crazy, but he got shot. But that was crazy. But why? Who who was that? It was just some random dude, like not even really um, some little rapper from uh, Fontana. Mm. But my my grandma and my mother used to say death come in threes. Mm. So every time somebody died, two more are gonna die. Yeah, that that is a that is something that uh that that is a slogan that's been around for a minute. Uh, did I mean so this guy from Fontana, he was a rapper or he did interviews too? No, nah, he was a rapper. He was a rapper. Okay. Uh, I, I from and, what I heard, he got. I guess shot at an in and out out there somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Man, it's crazy, man. Um, did you and Big D have a, a interview schedule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. And I seen that, I, I was had, like, wow, that that's crazy, bro. What you know, what you, I don't know what happened what happened. Uh I mean he was he just he just collapsed. Oh. Yeah, he just collapsed. Um we don't really know. Young um, too, huh? Huh? He young, huh? Yeah, he was thirty nine. Oh, yeah, he just collapsed, man, and uh, it's crazy. Like I, I, me and Big D were that was my guy, and then um, I had another homie who died uh too from an overdose. Mm. Yeah, overdose. Uh, so it's I never I've never really had close people die. Well, this close to me, but back to back, same week was crazy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't deal with that. I, I dealt with that a lot. It's crazy. Uh, street shit. Street shit. Family. Uh, when my my grandpa died, my grandmother died like five months later. Uh, two years after that, or maybe almost two years, my mama died. But other than that, it was always three. My auntie died. No, it was my auntie, my grandma. And I think like uh my 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 sisters them daddy all mm -hmm. died. Yeah, I mean in street shit too. Are are you numb to the pain? Low key. Lo low key, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like uh I stopped feeling shit when my mother died. I'm not gonna lie. A few of, I had certain people that got, you know, killed in the streets. It hurt, it did. Teared up, changed probably, it messed me up, yeah, but now it's like that shit is. I, I don't even, you know, I really don't even care. I mean, some some shit though, low key. I I feel a certain type of way, but that shit probably gotta have to do something with kids or something. Mm. When's the last time you cried? I ain't. Uh, to be honest, probably like maybe a few months ago. Thinking about my okay. mother. So recently. Yeah. And I mean, is this what reflecting on the past or what? No, I just pro I was thinking about my mother. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Just I think it was a, maybe around the time she passed away. I don't know. I just woke up and was just. I think maybe the whole September I was just feeling horrible. Yeah. And, and how did she pass? Was it natural causes or? Oh, uh, she had a stroke in her sleep. Damn. Yeah. In the house. Uh, so I mean, basically, whoever found her didn't know. We found her. We found her in the uh, house in the morning. It was a little party the night before. Not really like, like a party, but a, like a little get together. And it was wild because it was people that never came around like that. They was there. <clears throat> the next morning, my niece woke up screaming. 
my grandma dead, my grandma dead. And I'm like, what? And I jump up and I went in there, bro. And uh, she was dead. <laughs> yeah. Like, and they start calling the ambulance. And I'm like, man, what y'all calling them for? She dead, like dead. She was like stiff already. She could have had the stroke probably maybe somewhere at 12, maybe. I don't know. Nobody knew. What was y'all relationship like? Tight. I mean, I was the only thing I uh, knew. She adopted me from out the hospital and raised me. And I was in the house with her every day, really. Not in the house, but I mean, that's who I was raised with, grew up with. So tight, what? bro. That, 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 that was everything. So, so you don't know your your real mom. I met her recently, not recently, but when I was an adult. I, I mean, is that is is that something that you chose? Did you you know? Nah, <laughs> not not to be honest. I never wanted it. Um, I think it was attempts when I was young. I think it was attempts for me to to like just go over there and meet her. I ain't want to, to be honest. I always had that frame of thought like I don't fuck I'm a meter for she ain't even want me then so explain that whole situation I mean does she surprise you walk up on you or nah my my bio, I got by the biological sisters the my birth sisters well the mother the surrogate she already had kids she had an older son which will be my br older brother and she had two daughters um but all three of them was mixed with black uh, from what I know, my oldest brother was from Gardena Thresse. He did juvenile life, and right when he got out of jail, he got killed. And from what I heard, it was some back dough shit. Mm. So I say, like, a few years ago, uh, my brother, he received, like, a message request, and it was from my sisters then. But he didn't tell me, I guess. He, he didn't, I don't know how long he knew about the request until, uh, I guess, one day he told me. So I messaged him just to, out of curiosity, but just to really meet them. So um, I ended up meeting him. I think it was around my birthday. When you see your real mom, I mean, do you, do you question her? Do you, does she question you? Are you angry? Um, nah, cause she like, bro, she was a heroin addict. That's why I got took. I got took out the hospital. So she was a heroin addict. She was on heroin. That was a heroin baby. So, so, so she doesn't know who the baby daddy is. You don't know who your father is. <coughs> not, not realistic. Nah, I, I don't, bro. Like, um, Damn. I mean, from, I am not gonna lie, bro. She was dealing with some dude. Who I really feel like, I mean, I, they would probably, it would have to be my uh, daddy, father, whatever you call it. But they never said it was. And he dead now. Now, for the people who don't know, the, the, the woman who adopted you, the one that you claim as your mom, she was black. You, you grew up in a whole black family. Yeah. She, the, the heroin, my mother, the, the heroin addict. All her first kids was mixed with black. I was right. the only one that was, she had by a white man, I guess. They was trying to tell me I got 10% Mexican in me. But I, I don't know about that, bro. I would have to do like a um, like a DNA test. But yeah, I was raised, I got took out the hospital, bro. She didn't even get to take me. They took me out the hospital from her. Yeah, because I remember in our first interview, you said that, you 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 are a nigga like you are black you you said that that's what you you pretty much were born into you didn't it wasn't your choice it's not like you're trying you're this white guy trying to be this culture vulture trying to be black this is what you were raised by yeah uh ever since birth i didn't have parents that said i only had a mother i didn't have parents that said don't say the n word you know you should not say this or don't do this. Like, I mean, I had a good parent, but she wasn't saying that. She, I, that's all I know is, is black. That's, <laughs> I didn't grow up with nobody else, bro. I didn't start actually inter, intermingling with white people until I got an adult, bro. Like, it grown, mm -hmm. like 22, 23 until I started working. I, I told my homeboy LA was like that. Real segregated, 
real uh, black people have their neighborhoods. Hispanics have their neighborhoods, their blocks, and they don't intertwine like that for real. Where? In L.A. Am I correct? You said the Mexicans and the blacks? Well, pretty much it's segregated and a lot of different, the different colors don't really, they, they don't really intertwine. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. I grew up playing, I grew up friends with Mexicans. Okay. So, so it's not so, like, it's not like that in LA. Like LA, we grew up with Mexicans. I mean, it, it was at one point in time, you know, that beef that, that was going on on the east side, that was just, that might have made it seem like something, but it's not, you can't compare like Long Beach to, I mean, like LA to Long Beach, bro. Um, out here, you know, it's, if every black hood, it's a Mexican hood coexisting in it. Mm, okay, you put me on game. So Long Beach is very segregated. Yeah, that's more racial. You you start seeing the, 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 uh, the, the different, um, words to this racist. On the walls. You see all type of shit like that, bro. LA, it ain't really like that. It's not. Um, it's not, bro. I'm telling you, I grew up with Mexicans. Yeah. Some of my best friends was um, Mexicans. Mm. But, I mean, so, when you grow up and get older, you start uh, learning different shit, you know, about politics and shit. But still, overall, like, no. It's not like, nah, bro. It's Everybody really get along in LA, to be honest. Mm. So your household growing up, you were the only white person. Yeah, <laughs> no other, <laughs> no other white person, bro. Ever. I see. I wasn't in the foster home. I, I got adopted, so I got her last name, all that. So if I'm living with her, we in a predominantly black area. Every school I went to was black. Um, and when I was younger, that's that's who, what really populated the schools was blacks, really. Do you kind of tread lightly on the N-word just because of um, how people may look at you from the outside looking in? It's an ignorant word to use. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I try not to uh, use it. Yeah. I mean, but you grew up around people who said it 24-7. That don't you mean they should have been saying it. saying it. That don't huh? mean they should have been saying it. Mm. So you don't you don't really say it too much. No, like not really, because you you know, like the word I don't want to use the word no more like that. It's not because I'm scared or it's like uh, if I say it, I can't like I'm gonna get like I can't do nothing. I got a YouTube channel, so that's not gonna stop them. But it's like it's just period. Like once you figure shit out and shit is ignorant, and it's like I know black people that don't say it. Mm. So it's like, you know, and it's not that hard not to stop saying it once you really just say, I'm not going to say it. So. Right. But you yourself, you identify as black, though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> right. yeah. I just wanted I just wanted to re, I just wanted to go over that because we that interview was like two years ago. And, you know, yeah. I just wanted to, 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 to go. So, I mean, I mean, wow, man, just. Being the only white person in a black family, do you get made fun of? Sometime. Are you the joke in the house? Sometimes. I mean, sometimes my sisters and them used to say, you acting just like Dottie. You going to be just... And I didn't know who that was, but that was the... the uh, I guess my birth mother. So, yeah, I mean, they used to say shit like that sometimes. But other than that, it was fun, bro. Like, you know... I was running around the streets, riding on fruit trucks, buying shit. We had fruit trucks that ride around. Uh, it was it was fun, bro. But I was the only white one everywhere, and I we used to be everywhere because I had my aunties and them lived all around LA, Forty Second and Hoover, Crenshaw and Adams, uh, the East Side, everywhere. Uh, when I was younger, my mother had friends in the uh, Nickerson Gardens. I was over there running around, going to the candy houses. Are you still a Are you still a Hoover? Yeah. It just seems like you're you've matured so much. Well, and I, well, I'm not a game banger, or I'm not even a game member. I don't think. <laughs> For real. So how? Wait, explain that. How are you a Hoover, but you're not a game member? Well, no, I'm saying I'm 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 like a Hoover as far as like a person from that community. 
I'm just saying I'm not a gangbanger, bro. I, I'm not outside gangbanger. Not an active gangbanger. Yeah, nah. I, well, I'm not. Yeah, like nah. I don't want to be. I mean, yeah. I mean, is that is that just something you decided overnight, or just growing up, maturing, seeing bigger, bigger, better things? Yeah, maturing. I, I've been, I've been, I've been trying to do that, bro. Like even, you know, even kind of before YouTube, I was clearing up my vocabulary. Trying to stop saying, you know, cuz, not cuz, but like crim. And, well, I used to say cuz when I was younger, because a lot of my, uh, a lot of my uh, people was crips. But stop, you know, I stopped trying to say crim, groove, and all that shit all day in my vocabulary, bro. So, so crim, it, it, what, 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 did, what is, what is crim? It's criminal. Okay. And, and like, what else? <laughs> what other words is was in your vocabulary that you tried to? You know. Well, it, it groove, cram on the set, loke. I mean, like all that shit, bro. But you know that shit kind of get ignoring at, at a certain time, bro. I mean, it just don't like you grow up, bro. You get around other. You don't want to be saying that shit. Imagine me going to work every day around these people, and that's all I'm saying. It just mm. you gotta kind of be able to like turn that shit off anyway and turn it on. You feel me? Like I, I've been on that shit though, cause I used to try to get money when I was younger, so. The shit I was doing, you got to kind of, you know, you can't go in there like groove on the set. Like, let me get this. <laughs> and, uh, but nah, you got, I'm mature, bro. I can't, I'm not about to be one of them people that don't grow, bro. Hmm. You, you think the streets are played out? Yeah. I think once you get a certain age, it's played out. I think the streets is like rap or what well, some people say rap is, it's for the kids. Because when, when you look at some of that shit, bro, like, <laughs> it just, it, it don't make sense. It don't. It don't, bro. And if I, it, it's, I, it, it don't make sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And a lot of them rules and shit was started by teenagers and kids. Mm. And people are still going by the same rules and shit. But you, you nah, bro. Hell nah, bro. And then I got, I got, I got, uh, I, you know, I got like a little family. So like, nah, bro. That shit played out, bro. Everybody telling, uh, can't go get money. Um, what you gonna do? You you might get knocked down, and my, no, my, no, somebody might never go do nothing. Like it's, I don't know, bro. It's not even that. It's just overall, once you, it's like once your mind grow, that shit just don't seem logical no more. <laughs> mm. But I mean, I'm trying to do other shit, so it just it really don't play into the picture. Right. It, it seems like the internet. The internet got so big, and now you got all these street cats that transitioned over to the internet that it just seems like the streets ain't the same no more. The internet, you think the internet has a lot to do with the streets now? Yeah, it is the streets. The internet is the streets now. Yeah. It's, it's the same. Bro, it'd be people, like, it, it's, it's people warring on, on, on the internet, bro. I yeah. mean, it's people comment, I mean, it's people bios that tell you everything you need to know. Everything you Where need to know. Where they from, all they dead homies that you could diss. <laughs> Just it, it tell you everything, bro. I mean, it's crazy. And if you really think about it, it's like you really helping them people. It's mm. it's crazy. It's, it's wild. Like, and, and people seem to don't care. Like, any cameraman could go anywhere in anybody's hood. Anywhere. They ain't even paying nobody or nothing. Mm. Just going and just... Getting everything they need to know. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like that before. Back then it was, man, put them cameras down. Yeah. Like, I got situations where I, like, I had homies <laughs> where I took people with me. This was a long time ago. And he was kind of playing, but still he was on the cameraman like, hey, who the fuck is this? Why he got that camera? And woo, woo, woo. Because back then, nobody was on this type of shit. It yeah. wasn't, bro. I pull a phone out. You're going to get pressed doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But now it's okay, bro. Like you get on the internet and you know talk about everything, tell everything. It's you know how many people in jail doing a long time because they posted the money that they just got out of a house, the same money on Instagram and uh, uh, the captions that they put in. It's all type of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was never really into the internet like so much when I was um, outside. I even messed up. I made one, but I really didn't. Um, private really didn't do nothing on it yeah the 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 streets and i had a i did an interview with cookie money
from Oakland, and uh, he was just saying the streets are dead, really. Like, you don't really know too many street cats with 10,000. You want to be you honest? Know, I mean, a lot of the street people are broke. Borrowing weapons. Um, you, you know, they, they'll they befriend the person that they know is a hook, with what they would consider a buster, a, a boo-boo person. They're going to befriend them just to hit their weed every day and to be around them to drink the liquor. Like, it's so much selective politicking going on. Um Rats ain't get exterminated. The, the the people that's getting money get exterminated. Um, mm-hmm. It's so much jealousy. It's back. Do- and, you know, it's like a lot of this shit getting fucked up, too, because of the people <laughs> like for real in jail and shit. I mean, it's like the people that's in, in these jails that that's, you know, you can't. I, it's like people won't want to be in prison and call shots and shit. But you in prison, bro. Obviously, shit didn't work. You. You know, it's two different programs. It's just a lot of shit, bro. It's just, it, I'm telling you, bro, it's, it been over, bro. And I was done with the shit before YouTube, low-key. Like, right when I was transitioning to even starting to do this shit, I was already done. Yeah, because, I mean, in the interview, he pretty much said that uh, 95% of the street cats are not, they're, I mean, they're broke. Well, that's they're not getting to it. That's why a lot of them. That's why a lot of them get a long time in prison, bro. He's being honest. I mean, these people going to jail for these charges and crimes and can't even afford a lawyer. They can't. They don't got money to get lawyers. People die. It's no money for funerals. You remember when they people used to do car washes? You could probably say ninety five percent of the gangbangers in California was buried via car wash or plates being sold, like. For real, like, and it's crazy because you in the streets, you get DP for not standing around. You, you to me, bro. To be honest, to to be the loke and to be, you know, that person like you, you know everybody is clinging to. You got to be broke, standing around all day, dirty, and shit like that, bro. You'll be well respected. Them the ones that are respected in the streets. <laughs> yeah, from what I didn't see, you know, and then. But- it, it's like, if you you know, money controls shit. You know, I wish I would have knew that when I was younger uh, more. Because money, money controls shit. Money gets shit done, but still, money will get you murdered, bro. And a lot of these people be getting back though, bro. Uh, the streets is dead because the, the rats and the, the people who be boo-boo and uh, refuse wayside in the Los Angeles County Jail and um, do a lot of bullshit, they be okay because it be selective politicking. And... A lot of people just wake up and realize, bro, like, shit, <laughs> if I'm going to risk my life, I mean, it might as well be about some money. Yeah. Because I remember, I think last year, you didn't show up to a hood day and people made a big deal out of it. I didn't show up as- to the last four or five hood days. I never, I, I never, I never went to a hood day on YouTube in my life. <laughs> I never, I never did, bro. I let that, that's not a big that's not like a secret like it's not really a secret I mean is it one of them things where now you're somebody now you're a target now you don't know who to trust you're at this certain level you're making decent money you're making good money you're making more money than the average person and you don't want to go back it's like going backwards going to the hood days like going backwards pretty much I mean what am I going to the hood day for anyway I mean what am I celebrating <laughs> I ain't did shit I ain't been around. So what am I going for? I'm just being honest. Like, then go for what? So I could just go and then what if I just get shot? Everything I've been doing just down the drain because I want to go to a hood day. Um, bro, I'm going to tell you one thing. I seen people back up from the streets and start doing different shit. And if for some reason, like, they'll just say, fuck that. And then they'll go back to the streets. And next thing you know, they're dead. So it's like, I'm not playing like that, bro. Like, and then it's like, for what? Like, go for what, bro? What do I need to go for? Make it hot? Make 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 everybody put me on live? Then all the everybody want to come slide? Or f- come for what? And then, like it, you it, said, to uh, it's not even really my homies, but it's just in general. Yeah, I mean, I'm at a point where I never trusted people. But now, it's like, shit, I get a text, and I'm like looking weird. Like, what the fuck you texting me for? <laughs> like, 
Hmm. Yeah, like shit be, yeah, bro. I'm not going out like that. I'm not going to be a, one of these people. Yeah, a lot of people go back because of ego. I don't have that. I, 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 I threw the, I've been, I don't give a fuck about that. I can't do nothing with that ego, bro. I, that shit ain't really going to give me nothing. I can't go get a hundred kilos with this ego right now. I can't go get, fuck, I'm going to go get with it. Nothing. I, I don't care about it. I'm grown, bro. Like, I, I grew up. I don't get, that shit ain't nothing, bro. I can't go get no bail money with that. That shit ain't, go, what is going to give me, bro? I mean, I ain't, I ain't did nothing wrong. I ain't never told. I ain't never did no shit like that, bro. But I grew up, like, in, in, and, and I started doing YouTube and working. And, you know, the streets wasn't working. I wasn't getting money. I, how long am I going to sit around broke getting GR? You know, people, a lot of people get sit out here and be acting like they're getting money on Instagram, but they're receiving GR. That's called, like, general relief out here. And it's, like, $221 cash and $200 food stamps. And they mm. wait every month for that. And then blow it mm. the first day. They get it. How do you qualify to get GR? Shit, <laughs> you just really go down there and uh, you can't have a job, basically. And... Uh, you just got to have an ID and shit. ID social. Don't work. You're going to go down there. You're going to get tokens. They'll give you a two-week voucher for a motel room. Um, they give you a list, you but these motherfuckers... Not a, not, a ho not a hotel, but a motel. A motel, like the ones that's in everybody hood on them corners, mm. like on Manchester and Fig, 84th and Fig, uh, 55th and Western, uh, 63rd and Crenshaw. <laughs> um yeah, nah, but I mean, for some people, they need it, bro. Like, and, and you know, if you could f find one in your area, but I, don't, I never wanted it, bro, because that shit was nasty, filthy. Like, if I get it, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, sell it low key. But other than that, I mean, I was on that shit before and I, and I feel good in life because I ain't had to be on this shit in eight years. I've been said, like, that shit over with. Eight, nine years, bro. Do you hear people, you know, in your circles or your old circles, your old friends, where people think you changed up? Nah, it ain't. It ain't. It, it, well, you know, like it ain't that I changed up, bro. Because I was, I stopped even really mingling before YouTube, bro. So they probably was feeling that before YouTube. Because I'm not about to keep realistically. And this ain't aimed at nobody, but this is just. I'm not gonna keep messing with the same individuals that ain't doing shit. You look up, these people are older than you already, they ain't doing nothing, still with their mama, working a bullshit job. I mean, bullshit, like low level, like, like I'm not even, I don't wanna say that because some people gotta do that, but I'm just saying it's like, they ain't doing shit, bro. Like, fuck, I'm a, what am I gonna get from being around you? <laughs> nothing. And then in order to really do something, you gotta step away from that shit. Yeah, I, and then people nasty. What am, I don't wanna go smoke with everybody no more, and I don't trust people. I don't trust people at all. That's a big, that's a big thing too. And then I learned my brother got backdoor, my birth brother. He just did juvenile life and he had got out and he got backdoor. So you gotta think about that. History sometimes like to repeat itself. Mm. So I gotta move right or get done wrong. Absolutely. Uh man, what's up with the rap game? It seems real dry. It seem we haven't really had a lot of stars break out. Um I mean, we seen the Boston Richie shit as soon as he was about to break out, the the snitching shit came out. Um, but it's just not the same no more. Like even me running a blog site, it's not as fun anymore. You don't have the content as you used to. Um, I mean, what do you think it is? Is it everybody rapping about the same the same shit? Is it because so many rappers died? So many rappers in jail? Um, because over the last 10 years, over 200 rappers mainstream and underground died 200 that's 20 a year i you know what i think but what what what, what they dying though bro like a lot of that shit be like you you could fake it sometimes don't really be um coming up like that living like that and then they play this role and then they act this certain way and then they get pumped up with the little money and shit and then they can't they can't stand the test of time and then they go out backwards but Rap is just really, it's bullshit, bro. And then you start finding out these people ain't really like that. Like they rapping and shit, and they ain't like that. So that, that play, a, and then it's weak. A lot of this shit be trash. And then no, no, I don't want to hear music all day about you getting high and you taking prescription drugs and shit. I just don't want to hear that, bro.
<laughs> so you think you think rappers they're running out of shit to talk about? Yeah, cause all of them talk about none. Like a lot of rappers don't even make music about women. Mm. They don't. Every they music don't. is about jumping out, running up, sliding, kill. Yep. Sliding, <laughs> sliding on the op. I'm <laughs> in smoking, the field. Smoking on the op. Yeah, I'm trooping on the I'm trooping in the field, smoking on the op all day. But realistically, cause I don't have a home to stay. Like, like for real, it's the same shit. And I don't want to hear that shit, bro. And then it, it, a lot. Of, I'm sad to say, but a lot of it is trash. The, man. No, no. It's like Ja Rule and him was doing shit different. Fifty different. Cent, and him, yeah. Like that shit was just a, a whole different like level of music. We don't got that no more. It rap might. I'm rap ain't gonna die, but it's just like <laughs> it ain't the same, bro. You don't think it's gonna die? It could. It's 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 a it's it's like a it's a possibility, bro. Cause it's not really. I don't even listen to that shit to be honest, bro. I listen to old music. I listen to music mm. that's from twelve years ago, to fifteen years ago, eight years ago. Like I'm listening to shit that's old, bro. I don't list really listening to this shit. I don't. Yeah, cause it's like what classics are coming out today. Like if you look look at like Fifty Cent now, still selling out arenas. Um, you got um. Fucking T.I. doing tours and shit and, all you know, the Jeezys and, you know, where we grew up on Kanye West and... Plies, you know, I mean, all of them had real music, bro. Real music. Yeah, even Wayne, even, I mean, like, like all... Wayne, it, Wayne, even like you say, Ja Rule, people like to make fun of Ja Rule because of the 50 Cent shit, but that was... He still had classics. But Ja Rule was like Drake, man. I heard somebody say that, but Ja Rule was like the Drake. I mean, he you Bef could compare yeah, him to Yeah, he was to Drake like, before Drake. You could compare him to somebody big, bro, because he had Ashanti... And, man, and they was Jennifer, making Jennifer hits. Lopez. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, they was making hits like all, and they, he was making music for women. And it's like it's. I'm starting to think the streets is a you know like they they really in the men low key because like mm. you know you get you get DP for not hanging around men all day but not for being broke. Real talk. And I find oh, that man. that, that shit funny. You saying man. some shit. Yeah. Uh, so I mean in ten. 10 to 20 years, do you think artists like Lil Baby or um, the big artists today, do you think in 10, 20 years, they could still tour and people will still care about them? No, I don't really think they big now. Because I, I, seen, I seen a picture, I don't know if it was real or not, bro, but it was like a thousand phones on tripods plugged up the chargers saying that that's, that's how they stream and they... That's how they get in yeah, their stream. It's a streaming farm. Yeah, that's, and, then, that's and then you see yeah. when Lil Baby and them was canceling concerts. I mean, uh, yeah, Lil Baby and them. Not too long Lil ago. Lil Baby, Moneybag Yo. Yeah. Um, Cause they're not really yeah. that big, bro. I, I think a lot of these artists, they whoever, I don't know if their management or label are, are doing it, but a lot of these artists, they're losing their fan base because they, they stop doing clubs. They think they're too big for clubs. Yup. There's it, nothing wrong with going to a club and, and collecting that bag and but the arenas you gotta be that guy to bring out 20,000 people bro they probably scared to go to them clubs or you know like <coughs> I mean I haven't heard remember I think I Spice was she had got shit booked and then when she started blowing up she didn't even go she didn't even go back and do those she just went to the ones that paid her more so you know they do shit like that bro but that's why they don't last long they just here and there but mm-hmm so I mean, is it any artist right now that you think has staying power? The young, the young boys, the Kodak Blacks, um, the ESTGs, are any of these guys that you think are will be able to stay for the next five to ten years? Kodak for sure. I'm pretty sure, young boy. I mean, he got like twelve million subscribers on YouTube, so I don't really see him going nowhere. There's a few of them that that's around that make okay music, but let me. I can't really like Kodak. Uh, who who's some other rappers? Uh, uh young boy. Uh, I don't really listen to him like that. I mean, he did that re that remix to that uh C Murder. That was cool. And another song, but I don't really listen to him, bro. And then it looked like he wear makeup in his songs and shit. <laughs> what about like the Polo G's? Uh, I'm trying to think of somebody. I haven't really listened to his are... music, to be honest. I have You said what? I haven't never listened to his music. Polo G. 
So you you think you think a lot of these cats don't have staying power though? Majority of them. Yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> no. Are they who you, you think you think money bag yo gonna be around in fifteen years, ten years? Nah. I mean, it's a possibility, but I don't really see that shit happening. I don't really see them making music that's really like. Oh man, your guy Adam Adam Twenty Two just came out with a show, man, with him and his him and his wife, and it's five. I think it's maybe five or t or six c contestants on the show that can win him and his wife. <laughs> That that is bizarre, bro. And one of the individuals is Crip Mac. Crip this, Mac. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that he this man is nasty, bro. Like on all levels. Like I mean, he <laughs> he. Oh my god. I I couldn't picture myself doing no shit like that. He he out of line. I mean, he's running up a bag with her, man. They that's, running up a, a crazy bag. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's I, I don't want a bag. I ain't doing that. So wh if they win, what do they get? I guess they get to do a a, a video, fucking <laughs> him. Whoever win, like say if Crip Mac win, Crip Mac gonna get go in there and get to get nifty. Well, I so damn so Crip Mac, <laughs> but so but Crip Mac said he don't swing like that, so he. But I mean, if he win, he gotta do it. With it, he, they just don't get Lena. It's a combo. Oh, man. Damn. So I don't know. Maybe so. Damn, he willing to run and train on his wife in front of the world for the little bag. Well, that's nasty, bro. I ain't doing no shit like that. You and wait. So you think this is for real? Yeah. I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, bro, he look what he did after his honeymoon. Right after his honeymoon, he came back and and his wife, you know, got um, ran up in by Jason Lee. <laughs> yeah. Like what all on do? camera and everybody knew about it and it was leaked everywhere and Reddit had it. Every Everybody seen it before it even got uh, released, bro. Would you would you smash Lena? Nah, I, I mean I'm in a relationship, but even if I wasn't in a relationship, I wouldn't hit it. It's just that cause she seemed not like that, but she seemed like she don't got all her marbles, bro. Yeah, it's just that's and then like it's videos of her where you know she didn't admit it to, you know, being at parties where they get you know they get nasty and she's getting hit by multiple people repeatedly. Man. I'm not hitting that, bro. I mean, yeah, nah, like, nah. <laughs> I don't want to catch nothing. I mean, No Jumper is, is is a totally different show now than than when we last spoke. Um, I mean, at that time he had AD, uh, T Rail, and now it's totally different now. I mean, the whole roster's changed. I mean, and a lot of people thought No Jumper was going to fall off. And, I mean, he made a, he made quite of a bounce back. Yeah, but look what he had to do. He really sacrificed his wife for that shit. I'm not saying he didn't, you know, he didn't whatever, but he a lot of that shit was him sacrificing his wife. Him, after his honeymoon, announcing that she's about to get ran up in by a black porn star. He knew that shit was going to make people go crazy and, and, and talk about that shit. And that kind of like pushed shit back into it. But, you know, yeah, he got like Brig Baby and a few other people. So he's still floating. What's your relationship like now? There ain't no relationship. Still where it was at? It ain't really nowhere. Like, it's just, <laughs> it ain't no whatever. relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't want to be his friend, bro. Like, I, I never, I don't want to be. Uh, I, I'm not. I, I don't have. I'm not his enemy. Like, I don't. I don't wish nothing happened to him or no shit like that. But I, I haven't talked to that man. Yeah, uh, he offered um, Aunt Glizzy to come to the show, and Aunt Glizzy he didn't feel comfortable going. 
Why would he? <laughs> he feels like it's not a organized, it's not a structured place. It could have been too not enough. And maybe he's trying to sign, he, he want people to sign these crazy contracts now. I don't know, but it is a weird place, bro, for real. It's like a place where you where you could consider it like a hostile work environment <laughs> mm. to, certain de to a certain degree. All the shit that done took place up there and all the fake shit that they do, well, that they done did in the past and they still do, but I don't know. I call it uh, Gilligan. That shit is Gilligan up there. Yeah. Uh, earlier this morning... Finesse two times ex girlfriend blasted him from allegedly getting a a BBL lipo surgery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he pretty much responded. He said that uh, a a BBL and lipo isn't the same. But he pretty much saying that he got the surgery done. He did. He's pretty much saying that he got uh, lipo done. Oh, that's wild. That that's crazy. Yeah, he a clown. That, he not a clown, but that's clown activity. Like, yeah, I don't agree with that shit. Like, did he just get out of jail for all them years? He didn't have a six pack. Yeah, he did like five years. And he didn't have. He didn't come out chiseled in shape. What was <laughs> this? So he came. That's just wild, bro. I, I don't. I don't agree with that, bro. I don't. That's kind of weird. Bro. That's 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 not weird to you. Like, you able to go like get surgery, like. And and get a six pack. I don't want to do that. And then that Man, is I, like, I hear it's a lot more rappers that do it that that you wouldn't think did it, but did it. Well, they do a lot of shit that you wouldn't think they did, but they true, do. That's true. So I wouldn't put it past no rapper. Like they do shit. And then I'm not. I guess I can't. Like I'm not knocking his ass, but it's like, damn, you just got out the pen. You a gangster. Like you didn't come out chiseled up. No, he because he got he got motivated by uh, Batman. You think so? Yeah, he did. He had to. He seen that shit and he was like, "Oh no, nah, I like them results. And I ain't got to do shit." <laughs> and I don't, I stopped working out anyway. So let me just pay for this shit. <laughs> yeah, Batman ben, ben spoke out afterward defending them like, "Yo, people just want to see us fucked up, broke, and out of shape." Nah, but you a man. I want to see you work out and get in shape. Like, I ain't used to you. <laughs> Getting like it's like if they was getting their ass done. It's crazy. I mean, I'm not doing it. I, I'm not doing that shit. And then it just don't. It, it looks like it don't feel right. It's just fake, and I ain't with that, bro. But I mean, to each his own, I guess. I, I ain't doing that shit. Shit weird as hell. Like if you do that though, like that's what I'm saying, bro. I don't know. Yeah. The same thing we hear about Will Smith. We hear about Diddy too. Yeah, Diddy, no, I didn't see videos that can confirm, like, my 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 assumptions on him. I seen him in a hot tub that time with the rappers. I can't remember their names, but he they was in a hot tub at nighttime, and he was in there, like, really, like, getting up on them, like, rubbing, hopping on their back, rubbing them and shit. And the shit he said to Fabulous. So, yeah, nah. I think he said he wanted to take him <laughs> to, you know, like, buy him gifts and shit for his birthday and... So, but we we hear all these stories, but it just still seems like people ignore it, or they turn the other, you know they turn their cheek. When people see him in public, it's like, you know, we hear all these stories, but it's never, you know, because they don't, because people do anything for anything for uh, they want clout, or they just or they want to get, they want to befriend him or they won't say nothing about a rapper that they know is weird because they want a feature or some shit. Mm -hmm. So it'd be shit like that going on, bro. And he, you know, he got money. <laughs> so he can, he can do a lot with that money, bro. Yeah. Worth damn near a billion. Yeah, he could do a lot. He can, if you say something about him, he could, he, you know, like shit. I'm just being real. Like, he could do something if he wanted to. Whatever. Speaking of Diddy, uh, I mean, Keefe D's locked up for the Tupac murder. Keefe D claims that Diddy offered him a million dollars to knock off Tupac. Vlad did multiple interviews with him. Vlad claims that, uh, you know, he, he got down to the bottom of the case. Um, but, yeah, Keefe D, he's really fighting for his life right now. 
he 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 was crazy, bro. He thought he had that profit agreement shit. He should have really got a lawyer and um really figured that shit out. Cause they he really gave him a case, bro. They, he don't even <coughs> he really don't even what what is it gonna be his defense? Cause it's not even Vlad, bro. I seen another one that he was doing on art. Art of dialogue yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, art of di dialogue. Now that one was. Now he Keefe was getting more like, he was saying more shit on there. Way more detailed. Yeah, so it was like crazy, bro. And then you know he ain't got to pull the trigger. They could still get him for accessory to um, murder, and that's still life. And anything, it was crazy, bro. And now he don't even got a lawyer. Yeah. He got a public. He got a, he got a public pu pretender. Public. <laughs> yeah. Man, uh, and, and Diddy never paid him the million dollars. Well, they say that Diddy gave it to somebody. Allegedly, they gave he gave it to somebody named Zip or something, and that dude didn't give it to him. So it's like they, okay, so. They he no, paid some. He didn't. He didn't have direct contact with him. Yeah. So that, I mean, like people, I seen a lot of people saying like Diddy probably sweating bullets. Nah, hell nah. Diddy got too much money, and it's no real. It's no. They don't got. I don't. I doubt they got any hard type of. Um, too long ago, too. And what the type technology? Of real, what type of real evidence you think they got? Yeah. Puffy never gave him the money. I don't think he really never said nothing that they got on no phone or nothing. So I doubt he's sweating bullets. He still ain't gonna send Keefe no noodles that he been crying about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fulio. But, but but I you know Keefe from what I heard he said he thought he had cancer. Um. Yeah, Keefe he thought he had cancer. He didn't he didn't think he was gonna live this long. So, so that's why he was book. telling. Yeah. He, and he wanted to like sell a Netflix story or uh -huh. something if he was gonna die, but he didn't die. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is crazy. See, he wanted to get over again, and he didn't even die. That's crazy. <laughs> but fucking crazy. I, I hope he, you know that. I, I just, I, I would have hoped he would have got a lawyer and looked over that profit agreement because Nevada charging you, not LA, and uh, they could probably use all that shit, and they gonna use it. Uh, Fulio was recently shot in his foot. Crazy hole, maybe the biggest hole I've ever seen in somebody. That have gotten shot. Is that it, you? Tell me. You've been in shootouts. You've been in the streets all your life. Was that crazy seeing his foot like that with a big ass hole in it? Yeah, that's nasty. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I can't look at shit like that. If I see it, I glance at it and hurry up and turn my head. I seen it though. I could still see it in my vision right now. That was oh nasty. Oh my god. But I seen shit like that. Yeah. I mean, you've been in shootouts. You've been in near death situations like Fulio. Yeah. Um. I, I did an interview with Fulio. I was like, "Yo, you could leave the streets. It's okay, bro. You, you got your reputation. You got your cred. You got your points. People know who you are. You got clout. What is your advice to Fulio? I mean, I don't. I don't it, it ain't no. I can't tell him nothing. He he's gonna stay doing what he gonna do, bro. Like, but he, if you were, he, but if you were him, if you had that big ass hole in your foot, what would you do after that? I, I would chill, bro. Like, I would have been chill. Like, I will be somewhere making music. Like, if that's the case, I would be ducked off somewhere in a whole nother uh, state far away um, making music, doing something like that, bro. Like, I'm not about to continue to play with my life and I got a whole music um, situation going on. He got fans and all type of shit, bro. But, you know, like, some people, they, they really still, they chasing that rank, bro. They still want that. They want to control shit. Now they got money, so they can, you know, they hit different. And um, some people still want it. I don't want it. A lot of people don't, um, cause it don't lead to nothing but a long sentence or death. And you only could get shot so, so many times and survive, bro. Tupac got shot what? Them few times, and then the next time he was dead. He pretty much said that. I mean, it's no leaving the streets because the karma is going to eventually hit somebody. It's going to come to somebody, even if it's not me, somebody in my family, somebody close to me. Once you're in the streets, you're in too. I'm in too deep already. 
some people think like that. Some people may feel that way, but I see reality. Uh, and that shit ain't reality. It's not. Why? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, bro. It, that's crazy. That's crazy. But how old is he? He's about 20, 24, 25. See, he's still young, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't maybe, even know. Yeah, I don't maybe. even really know when he jumped off the porch or no shit like that. So I don't know how how long he been doing this shit. But you know, like, but like I said, some people don't. It's some people. I know people that don't change, bro. They gonna do that shit forever, till they dead, and to death do them part. Yeah, because I mean, there's a lot of old, uh, look at, older. Look at Draco, rest in peace, bro. He was getting all that money, and he still was, um, you know, kicking up dust. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Big U, Big U just spoke out saying that he supports Gunna. Uh, Gunna didn't tell on nobody, and uh, hey, that's that. <laughs> I mean, Gunner, Gunner, Gunner said that when he got pulled over that it wasn't his. He admitted that he didn't see any cell gang members do crimes. I mean, felonies and all this shit, bro. Like, he told, bro, he took it. Look, if I go to, me and you go to jail and they offer us a deal and the deal is I got to tell certain shit or I got to plead guilty and this, like, bro, it, me and you got to be in cahoots on the deal. We got to both take this deal at the same time, bro. But you know, Big U gonna say that shit, cause he like, you know, he don't he thirsty for the attention, bro. He he think Gunner is gonna be like, what happened with old boy Deion Sanders? And he feel like if Gunner come to Crenshaw, it's just gonna like super blow it up. But a lot of people ain't fucking with that shit. Uh Big U said, uh, ain't no paperwork on Gunner. Gunner did some fuck shit, I feel like, as far as the pay as far as he took his deal first. That was the only shit, but the nigga ain't told on nobody. Niggas don't got no paperwork to rat on a nigga. You gotta, you gotta have some paperwork. That's just my opinion. No, that ain't true. I'm telling you, bro. If two people go to jail and they offer a deal, and the deal is like admitting you telling what happened or whatever. You admitting the guilt, bro. Both of us gotta take this deal. If you don't take this deal, and 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 if I don't take the deal and you take the deal, bro, that's like basically I'm gonna be found guilty, bro. Can't do that, bro. Like that's like separating your case. That that is looked down upon. I mean, that's looked down upon out here, bro. But you know, I'm telling you, bro. He old. He like damn near sixty. He don't even care no more, bro. Be realistic, but I mean, he's still cool with Cowboy. Hmm. And Cowboy got on the stand. So what? What he got? What's his explanation with that? Streets is dead. Hell yeah, the streets dead. It been dead. Been dead, bro. The streets is crazy, bro. Like, it is. It's wild because it be selective. Selective. They say ain't nobody bigger than the program, but that's cap. Because when somebody, like an OG got a kid or something, they be exempt to shit. Or they gonna get a pass. Or it be a lot of all type of shit going on, bro. People, it's just fucked up, bro. And it's like, if that was somebody else, maybe that was broke or didn't have gonna influence and that shit happened he'd be like oh nah because he said he did some fuck shit and he talked he said he wouldn't have had he wouldn't have let the lady have him say what he said or some shit which he said everybody why is so committed crimes and yes they are a gang and all this shit bro i don't know like that's you know that's that's gilligan activity bro in my eyes because that's weird like if it was somebody else but like I said, he's still cool with Cowboy, and Cowboy got on the stand. He still put one of his homeboys away. Because that was his homeboy, and he still got on the stand. It's crazy when people see you out. <laughs> it's always a video that goes online. Uh, milk caught lacking, or uh, Milk, I, I saw you. And, uh, you know, that, that happened multiple times when you were out in L.A. just doing your thing. Is I mean, do you feel like you still have to look over your shoulder or? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't never get comfortable. Never. Because when you get comfortable, something going to happen. It's weird. It works like that. I'm telling you. If you get too comfortable, like, la, 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 like, ain't that going to happen? Boom. 
But I see people every day. I mean, people see me like literally. I'm not even just lying. Like today, maybe three or four people. I was at three or four different stores. I took a selfie with a 7-Eleven worker. Mm. And he noticed me from the Jubilee video. Is LA more dangerous than ever? No. no. It's not. No. It's not. It's changed. I drive through areas, bro. It ain't even the same. You go down the streets, it's it's it's, it's street vendors on every corner. Um the everything has changed, bro. Like it's just it's more it's different. I don't know what it is. But as far as the violence, I mean, I'm pretty sure people still getting hit up. But as far as like real violence, nah, like I don't think it's the same, bro, to be honest. I don't know, man. I, I see a lot of videos of watches getting snatched off people while they eating food. and Recently? Maybe maybe over the last year, six that, months. That was because of that shit that was going on where you had to wear the mask. Okay. So it wasn't no patrolling. Now, you ain't really, I don't think you've been hearing about um, all them chain snatchings and shit. I mean, remember, it's a rapper from Compton, uh, Compton ass TG, and he in jail right now for like, I guess his role in the smash and grab robbery. Mm. So, you know, like that was during, I, that was a while ago, like six, a year ago, but nah, that shit kind of over with, bro. You'll go to jail out here. Try that shit down in Beverly Hills or wherever.